This What kind of greatness? Great in faith, great in love, great in prayer, great in the word, great in joy, great in hope, great in godliness and righteousness, great. And to uh, impact the world, your impact your generation in one way or another. God knows how it happens. To be enlarged and multiplied, to become great in God. That's that. You don't become someone else in God. You become you in God. It's like a seed. You know, you see a little seed, and then the seed is to become great. It's going to become a tree, a great oak, a great tree from the little seed. It doesn't become something else. It becomes what it was destined to become. God has all these purposes in you like a seed. And God says, when I said, God says, I, will, I want you to become great, it's to become the tree that all the purposes that God put in your life germinate and become everything you were born to become. The idea of being called to greatness might be foreign to you, and you might see a big disconnect. You know, you don't know me. You don't know me, my life. You know, it's, I'm failing, I mess up, everything's been messed up. And there might be a disconnect. It's hard for you to process this. But notice something. When God called these people in the Bible, these giants of the, of the faith, a good amount of them had the same issue. They resisted it. They couldn't see themselves what God was saying. Moses said, you know, God says, I've called you, go down to Egypt, set my... Moses says, I can't. I I'm slow of speech. I don't speak. I can't speak. God gets upset with him. Well, he had good reason to because for a man of slow of speech, he certainly said a lot after that. <laughs> Isaiah, I am a man of unclean lips. I can't. I'm sinful. Some of you feel that way. Jeremiah, how can I do this? I called you a prophet to, to raise and cast down nations. I'm just a youth. I mean, I'd be in the youth ministry. Mary, how can this be? I have not known a man. And she was also a youth. Peter, get away from me, Lord. I'm a, I'm a sinful man. They each responded to the call of greatness and enlargement in this way of saying, I, I can't. I, I see this and I see my life. But that's where the scripture comes in. Where God says, no, it's not about what your life has been. I've called to, I'm going to take it, maybe small, to enlarge that. God is saying, he didn't say, Abraham, you're great. He says, I will make you great. I will. You just go along with the program. God is saying, so now let's take that scripture, take that scripture that we spoke in the beginning and apply it specifically. We're going to take it specifically to your life, practically. Enlarge the place of your tent. What do you need to do? And what do you need to do this week and, and this day even? Start enlarging your faith. Enlarge. You have to first enlarge your heart and your faith to enlarge your life. Enlarge what I could, you believe for. Maybe you, I couldn't believe for this. Believe for things you did not believe for. God said it. I'm going to stand on it. I'm believing for this, Lord. You said I can do this. I'm going to believe it now. Yes. With God, I can rise to it. Commit to enlarging that. Lord, I'm going to believe more. You said it's possible. I'm going to believe. You said this is your word. I'm going to take it now. I've been letting the, the way my life has been affecting my faith for what it can be. I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to take it what you have said for what my life is to be, and I'm going to let it affect what my life is. Believe the person he called you to be in salvation. His word concerning your calling, his power to bring it to pass, it's, it's there. And in line with that, so take that first, first mission, take that and then take action on it consistent. You say, well, I can't, I can't change the world. You don't have, no, no, start with one step today. Well, the Lord says, I can do this. I've never been doing it. I, I can get away from this. I can go. To, I'm going to take one step I never took before today out of my usual pattern into something greater. Take actions that will stretch your faith, stretch your, your walk, stretch your life, broaden your life even today. And invest in it. Say, Lord, say, look, I'm going to believe for greater things now, Lord. But I'm also going to act upon those greater things. It's consistent with a greater call. And in that, 
I'm also going to invest. This might, there might be a cost. There is. There is. I'm going to take time with you more time, Lord. I'm going to take, I'm going to do more. I'm going to, I'm going to be with you more. I'm going to, whatever it takes, I'm going to invest because it's worth it. I'm going to stop doing this because this is not large. This is not great. So I'm putting it away because it's not great. It's holding me back. Lengthen your cords. Make the commitment, Lord. No matter what, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. If I fall down, I get up. I keep going. Strengthen your pegs. Get deeper, deeper in God. Lord, I want to go deeper today. Starting today, I'm going to share something. I didn't have my notes. But you know, my, my, my kids got this little thing. It's like a, it's like a little, uh, you know, like a little reptile out of a rubbery plastic. And you put it, it's like this big. You put it in water and it becomes, it becomes this monster thing, you know. And they like, you know, I thought about water. You know, water is the symbol of the Spirit. You know, because the water fills every part of its little thing and it becomes great. And Lord, and, and with all these things, Lord, we need your spirit. I need your spirit. Now anoint me. Anoint me. I need your spirit. I want to walk in your spirit, move in your spirit, because the spirit comes, it makes you larger, it makes you greater. The spirit makes you greater than you could ever be. Go with the spirit. Be open to it. God is calling us to greatness, something great, something big. Let's each commit to it for our life together and in your life. For thus says the Lord to you now, Enlarge the place of your tent. Stretch forth the curtains of your dwellings. Spare not. Lengthen your cord. Strengthen your pegs. And you will spread out to the right and to the left. For I will make your name great. For God has called you to greatness. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kahn, and I hope you were blessed with the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Feel free to share your reactions with your comments and how you were blessed, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.